Hi, this is Vicki from Learning Home Volunteers, and welcome back to our learning session on colors. This week we're going to be able to make a color-based sun catcher. And once you're done making it, it'll be like having a stained glass piece of uh, um, for your window. Absolutely stunning. I love mine, even though we're just in the warehouse. <laughs> but it is really beautiful. Uh, the other activities are really fun, too. We've created a little box, which is perfect for travel or to put in your purse or the car, uh, which has colored cubes and uh, challenge cards, which challenge the learner to put the right colored cube on each of the colored squares. You remember last week those water beads that you've been keeping hydrated? Well, we have a great firm for them too. Um, we're going to play with them in shaving cream. So you ready to get started? Let's take a look at our first activity, activity number seven. This We're going to make a stained glass sun catcher. I put the word glass in quotes because we're actually going to use acrylic paint or uh, plates. Um, and acrylic sheets cut into various shapes to put on the plastic plate, which has a hole on the top with string in those holes so that you can hang it on the sucker cup um, hook on the window. So let's start by finding the plastic plate um, marked seven. Um, we needed to mark them so you could find them, but the number rubs off, so we didn't want it to interfere with the beauty that your, char your child is actually going to create. Um, next, you're going to need a glue stick and a bag filled, the bag filled with colored shapes. Um, these sheets of colored plastic can be cut into whatever shapes or designs that you want with children's scissors. We took the liberty of cutting some of the shapes, but we didn't really want to impede your child's creativity because they may have a whole different idea in mind. Um, to to do the craft, all you have to do is have the child glue those pieces of plastic onto the plastic plate. Um, when they're finished, um, you know, depending on what you did, they could look like this. This woman did all hers with triangles, and she created more than one. Absolutely stunning. Uh, really, really fun. And then a nice, uh, when the light comes through, it'll cast um, colors all the way through the room, which is nice. This is activity number eight, our color block challenges. And in your box, you're going to find a little box uh, the size of a gift box for a necklace. It's small, it's portable, um, and when my children were young and we had to go anywhere that we were going to have to wait, I took little things uh, with me um, so that um, they could play in my purse. Um, they were all contained in these kind of little blocks like the one you're seeing and had different things to play with. So they didn't know exactly what they were going to get but always were excited because I kind of rotated them through. So our box contains these uh, little wooden cubes which by the way are choking hazards and underneath them are little pieces of paper um, where they actually have to match um, put the cube on the color that matches. So in this example we would have a purple cube, two green ones because they're sitting right next to each other, another purple cube, and then down at the bottom two yellow ones. Um, we made sure that the cubes fit perfectly in the square um, so that there wasn't going to be any confusion when they played with it by themselves. Um, this is activity number nine. Uh, last week we asked you to put those water beads to absorb water by putting them in a bowl with water. Now it's time to take them out of the water and add them to our boxes of shaving cream. You'll find a black container with clear lids in your box. You can strain the water beads using a strainer from the bowl so that the water beads are now in the strainer and then you can ha just drop them into the shaving cream. These kinds of sensory bins are called, uh, or this kind of exploration is called a sensory bin. Sensory activities are designed to explore uh, the, uh, and make the child use their senses, um, but to explore textures and interact between those textures and other objects. So some of the things that you can do to make the um, you know, to add more fun to the play is actually to add different ways to explore those textures. 
add a spoon or a fork or a big spoon or a sieve or a plastic cup or a lid or watercolors or markers um, as they uh, find the different colors, uh, mark on the shaving cream, um, uh, you know, it's going to be absolutely fun. Just a couple cautions again, you know, shaving cream is soap. So if they put it in their hands and then put their hands in their eyes, it will sting. It won't hurt anything, but it will sting. Um, but the more important is the child the water beads are not meant to be put in their mouth. They're not toxic or anything, but they can be a choking hazard. So please keep careful. Thanks for all the pictures you guys have been posting. Keep them coming. Um, our next learning session is spring is sprung. I'll see you then.